every cloud has a platinum lining and I haven't done one of these in a while um, and never has one been justified to do more so yes I'm uh, I'm gonna tackle that racist video by Jay Hunter and uh, his girl right um, I'm gonna talk about all the fallout I'm gonna talk about a number of different issues only loosely related to the video itself and the reaction of people to that video um, I'm gonna talk about all those issues I'm gonna be as thorough as I can and no doubt um, there are a number of people who are not going to be a hundred percent happy with my response so it goes um, I have had people share stuff with me before I've never had a video shared with me <laughs> more than this video I'm just gonna go ahead and show it so um, just to warn you am I going to edit this video at all yeah I am um, one because I don't want it to be taken off of YouTube and I believe if you put this video in its original form it was originally a TikTok thing um, uh, I'm going to do my best to edit it. Um, certainly, um, chances are you've seen it if you're watching this, because as of when I'm making this, uh, over seven and a half million views this thing has gotten. Um, here it is. Hey, today we're making. First, we have black. black. Yeah, yeah, pretty black. Yeah. Next, we have. Don't, don't have a dad. Don't have a dad? Yeah. Yeah. And then we have eat watermelon and fried chicken. Fried chicken yeah. and watermelon? Yeah, that's, that's yeah, pretty good. That's, that's, yeah. Next one is uh, make good choices. Let's um, see. Oh, oh, oh there, there's oh. nothing there. Next we have rob people. Specifically whites. Yeah, they do that. Last one is go to jail. Um. All right. Um, the first thing that people noted who sent me this video was how it involved a wrestling person. And a lot of people didn't know the video was already gaining traction, which is funny because on the video it was like, oh, I know not a lot of people are going to watch this. Um, further evidence of how dumb these fuckers were. Let's just be real, right? Um, but uh, people immediately started sending me the screen captures that show that this was a pro wrestling person. Here's that picture. Yeah. So there we go. We got Jay Hunter from the WWA four school. And this thing caught like wildfire right away. Um, the usual reactions, right? Um, I'll say right off the top, this video is horrible, inexcusable, abhorrent. I don't know any intelligent thinking person that doesn't think so. We can talk about how evil it is in relation to the people that put it out, um, what their intent was. Um, what it says that most people who wrestled Jay Hunter and I talked to a number of these people um, chatted with them mostly through direct messages and the universal thing seems to be no idea he seemed to be a good guy who listened in the ring and followed direction he was the WWA 4 champion WWA 4 um, AR Fox specifically responded quickly with this. I would be remiss if I didn't put it up there. Cool. And um, so they got about as far ahead of it as you can. Um, here's the thing. Anything, there, there's a saying, right? Tyrion brought it up in Game of Thrones. Um, or was it, it was Ned Stark, right? My brother said anything that you say before the word but doesn't count. And I want to get ahead of that. So here it goes. 
The video is horrific. It's one of these things where everybody universally, oh, no matter what side of the political spectrum you are, um, even people who are polar opposites as far as wrestling issues go, right? People who always play devil's advocate for this kind of thing. People who always look for a way out to make that it wasn't as bad as it seemed. Nobody can say that about this. But anytime you're discussing something like this, there's a danger and the danger is, all right, so I've already said that it's bad, but, and, and then you wanna break it down into nuance. And it seems in the minds of many people that that mitigates the obvious negativity, racism, et cetera, of the video itself. So let me just put this out here. Is there going to be more to discuss as far as this goes? Yes. In some ways, am I going to be dis discussing how certain people's reaction to this thing is more self-serving? Yes. Am I going to say that this thing has been caught up in outrage culture and allows people to grandstand and all the rest of it? Yes. Does that mean that the video itself is not as bad as it seems? This video is as bad or worse than it seems for a number of reasons, which I'm also going to go into. But that doesn't take away from the truth of many things. The truth is Stephanie, the girl, and Jay Hunter, I'll just call him by his fucking wrestler name, might be the last time he really gets to do that. So, um, unless of course, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be cracking jokes, too. Um, he'll never get booked again. Mm. Uh, as long as I brought it up, will he, Jay Hunter ever get booked again? He was the WWA 4 champ. Right? Now, let's be honest. Since the last class of WWA 4 has pretty much left for greener pastures. I'm talking about, like... The David Ali's, the Allen Angels, Danny Jordans, Austin Towers, etc. These people who are who were before, of course, this whole thing happened and nobody's fucking wrestling anywhere. I get that. But the talent level at WWA4, when they had to stop doing everything a month ago, um, is far less than it used to be. And let's be honest about the WWA4 school. It's is a place where a lot of great people have come out of that school. But for the most part, it is not the best place to get trained or at least finished. A number of people have come out of that school, which by all accounts was not a hardcore, the clock has struck blank, let's get into warmups and drills and we're gonna teach you all of this stuff. It was a place where people showed up, fucked around in a ring, learned from each other, which isn't the worst way to learn, but it is not the same. But there's a reason that a number of the people who have come out of that school have gotten finished somewhere else and then gone on to even more. Or they learned by doing shows elsewhere. That's the truth. How does that factor into any of this? It doesn't in a direct way. However, I said I was going to fucking go with a fine tooth comb over this bitch. So I'm here. So let's talk about it. There is undeniably a camaraderie amongst students that have come out of WWA4. There are groups that are cool with each other. But the overall vibe of the school, because of its loose nature of training, doesn't encourage depth unless it's the people that you have clicked up with. But there was never the feeling, and I can only speak for my training. When I was training, I think you will see, and if you talk to all the people who trained with me, to a man and woman, they would say that they were very close with the people in that school. Why? Because I was the enemy. 
and I was fucking knock their dicks and ovaries in the dirt with every training. I was determined to make them tougher. I was determined to have them go through a transformation. I was not going to let them walk in the door into pro wrestling land without them earning it. And if that makes me an asshole, so be it, because I was, I was tough. And it, ask any of them when I ran the WWA4 school, what hell day meant? And they will go into long lurid descriptions of how difficult it was. I made them earn every step that they got to take into pro wrestling with every drop of sweat, drop of blood, every fucking tear. Those three things happened and they were legitimate and I made sure of it. That is not the WWA4 school under AR Fox. I will say if I was to let one of my kids go into pro wrestling, and I would not because I love them. Harsh, but true. I would rather have AR Fox teach them than Mr. Hughes. Mr. Hughes was a sit on your fucking chair and point at shit and teach you one way to do things, which was his way to do things. And it sucked. AR Fox is the guy that you want in the atmosphere of learning a newer style of physical acrobatic wrestling. However, there is a lack of discipline there. And you can actually see it in the WWA for students themselves that don't complete their training elsewhere, either through doing shows at good places where people can teach them, working good people who can show them some things along the way, or getting finished at a place like One Fall. Jay Hunter was WWA Force Champion. Let's move on to other things. So Jay Hunter was there and he's caught. Now the video is catching hold. Now Jay Hunter's response is hide motherfucker hide. He knows he's done. And theories and conjectures are going out now amongst wrestling people. Jay Hunter always seemed like a nice guy to me. I'm sure it was the girl. Yeah, these women will fuck you up. That was the first reaction from most of the wrestlers that I saw. And it belies and shows their fucking stupidity and ignorance that they're already making assumptions. They're already demonizing the woman. They're already letting people off of the hook. And Jay Hunter, as was explained in Klosterman's book, I Wear the Black Hat, the best way to deal with any kind of controversy that villainizes you, and there was no video that has come out this year that has villainized somebody instantly more than this video has villainized Hunter and the freaking girl. None. Not on the national scene. Not on the international scene. This video instantly creates a reaction when you watch it. You watch it and you go like, those two people are fucking pieces of shit. End of story. But that's not what we're here to do. That's not all we're here to do. We're here to look a little deeper. And let's be honest, the reaction from a lot of wrestlers, especially the guys that worked with Jay and who always found him to be a very nice person who is very respectful. Well, uh, certainly my judgment couldn't have been wrong. Certainly I, it couldn't have just been that he hid that part of himself from me successfully. It couldn't have been that we weren't all as close as we seemed like we were. So the answer must be this woman has infected him. That was the first reaction that I read overall. And it was at least partially incredibly incorrect. Jay was just smart enough to fucking keep his mouth shut. That's the truth. She, however, was not that smart. They're both 18. They're both as dumb as a bag of hammers. I think the people that have gotten into trouble in the last year or two when it comes to racism and homophobia and all the rest of that stuff, right? From the, from the Matt Wade asshole, to the rest of it is these guys are all dumb as a fucking bag of hammers. Can we agree on that? And not because of their racist views. Their racist views are just symptomatic of the stupidity and the simplicity with which their minds operate. Is that an excuse for the behavior? No, but it is a fact. And I will say it again. They're dumb as a bag of hammers. Jacob Ashworth is not going to win a fucking math league competition. It's not happening. These are dumb motherfuckers. 
and they're not doing themselves any favors from the small towns that they are from. Carrollton now is going to be associated with these motherfuckers for a long time. And we are not in a position, Peach State is not in a position, where it can erase the stigma of Carrollton off of these two motherfuckers, who are now a national story. And certainly a humongous Georgia story. We're going to talk about that in a bit. As the AJC has caught in hold of this story as well. What is What was her first reaction? Her first reaction, and I want to read these things as I put them up. Um, she went to Instagram. It seems to be how she operates, right? So first this thing went up. Boom. I want to apologize for the abhorrent video I posted. I know in my heart how wrong it was. My boyfriend is racist. Woo, welcome to the uh, bottom of that bus wheel, motherfucker. And he slowly normalized his racism on me. Boy, she sure has the lingo down. Does this sound like an adult helped her write this thing? Sure does. Doesn't it? Still, I should never have let him. I believe blacks are human too, made in the image of Christ. Ah, ha, 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 go to the church. I have disappointed God and I want to apologize. Please don't contact my college. It's my future and one mistake should not ruin a life. Again, these are all the words of somebody older than her. I'm convinced. Also, please stop with the death threats. Again, I apologize. Sincerely, Steph. The new thing when shit goes down and somebody does a huge fuck up is to to instantly cite how they're having death threats thrown at them. I think it's a very easy thing to do, whether it's true or not. And I'm not saying it's not true that she hasn't gotten death threats. I'm going to say that it's always the go to is, yeah, but I've gotten death threats. And that's supposed to be a way of deflecting what's going on. Right. This is the second part. And it was put out about the same time. That's noteworthy. Both of them, you'll notice, are marked with one hour. Okay. I promise to dedicate my life to serving God and treating every human being with respect. I do not expect the public to forgive me, nor do I deserve it. If that doesn't reek of a grown-up helping her write this, I don't know what does. It's the exact right thing to say, by the way. But I pray God forgives my sins. That is the only way we heal. Very adult thing to do is connect you with your audience. This is a reasonable promo. I'll say that. But I do take issue with one thing. Hatred does not defeat hatred. Threatening, bullying, and canceling me will not... Canceling me? Mm -hmm, will not resolve the world's problems. Please, I urge everyone to seek God and find peace in him. I understand why people are angry at me, but how will ruining my life change that? My parents live... Um... Oh, uh, yeah, it's just a mistyping. In fear mm -hmm, um, for my life. This is not fair. Now, look at this one that takes place at least 23 minutes after these were posted. Because even if they're rounding the hour, it takes place at least 23 minutes afterwards. So the first two were very much of the adults, right? Adults helping her write this thing, making sure she's saying the right thing. If she was a celebrity, you would say that, oh, fucking attorney and publicist wrote those. But now, let's listen to this one. For the love of God, stop sharing the video in my name and picture. Do you, you do not know what this feels like. I have never been this scared. It just isn't fair. Imagine you're a stupid teenager just going along with stupid teenager stuff and then your life gets ruined forever. People not caring what's in your heart or what you're really like. Only defining you by stupid videos. Please, please stop sharing. This plea is when it started going out of control and the very definition of a viral video in more ways than one because it's disgusting and it caught on like wildfire. Mm. So she put these things up and then I'm only doing this to make sure I'm marking the time correctly. They put in all these things. COVID. Um, and then panic set in. And this is just my evaluation of the events based on what she posted. 
I think panic really set in. This thing was way out of control. Um, all of a sudden, they're expelled from their high school. And we're going to get into that with the AJC story in a bit. Um, and then so you got to grasp, right? So then we get this. Recently, I was diagnosed with COVID-19. I'm only 18 years old and I do not deserve this. I don't think anybody does. Again, this is somebody helping her write this, making sure she's covering all her bases. I don't think anybody deserves it and I don't deserve it. While this does not excuse my actions, I just want to say I was being ignorant and racist and blaming my diagnosis on the black community. But I thought it was her boyfriend that made her racist. And I thought, and there was something about theft in the video. This has nothing to do with any of that, right? And there was no mention of disease in their many cards that they threw in the sink. And it doesn't jibe. Am I saying there's no chance she doesn't have COVID-19? Sure, there is a chance. Uh, but I would say that it's no. I'd say it's bullshit, right? It's somebody looking for a way out, um, a way to create a narrative. Uh, at this point, she's not trying to appeal to the masses. She knows that she's lost. So now you're just trying to get to, quote unquote, your base, those that would tend to be sympathetic towards you. Um, and then we had this Instagram post, which take note of it because it also shows up in the next post. So here's our Instagram Hashtag dope debates. Oh, God. Uh, I'm sorry. You guys ruined my fucking life. I'm no longer going to my dream college, and my boyfriend and I have no future. And, of course, people are loving to gloat about this, and, and understandably so. Right? So she put that up, and then she put up this GoFundMe. And, I, by, by the way, I backtracked and I traced and made sure all this stuff was real. Um... So now they got this GoFundMe, a uh, 5% raise of a $1,500 goal, giving us hope. And it's the same teary-eyed picture, which is weird. Um, and that's not to say that for sure she's the one. Stephanie Freeman's is organizing this fundraiser. It's not to say for sure that it's her. I don't know that for a fact. I will say that. I will say, uh, there's something I want to check though. Yeah, Freeman, that's her name. Okay. Um, so all that's weird enough, right? But before all this, people were sending me this, which was a response that she had on direct message to somebody. Once this thing really started to break. And the reason I saved it for now is because I think it, it warrants an analysis. So first, let me check time. Whoa, we're getting up there on time. Um, and now let me put this up. And apparently it's a direct message that she sent to somebody in response to the video. Because you got to keep in mind, these are dumb fucks. Again, not an excuse. Um, doesn't let them off the hook. It's just a reality. They are dumb 18-year-old motherfuckers. Um, from a small town um, who thought they were, I think they thought they were just doing this fucking badass little video. They're being little fucking rebels and incredibly ignorant and incredibly racist. And it started to catch fire because her first response is this, right? No, I'm not sorry. Cry, laugh. What do y'all want me to say? The hell? Roll eyes. At least my dad can pay to have this whole thing go away, which is more than I can say for you fatherless Negroes. Hmm. Am I saying we need to have sympathy for these folks? No. They're done in so many ways. Right. But let me put this in your ear. By the nature of who they are, this will hang out for a little longer than other things will. But we have a way of forgiving. We have a way of forgetting and we have a way of moving on, especially now when all of us are stuck at home. Um, we're, we're seeing what happens 
with people's character that this time it doesn't test your character it reveals it and the truth is most people do have forgiveness as a natural thing and their natural instinct is to fight against whatever a group of people are saying so this video and the fallout for jay hunter and stephanie right the fallout is of course overwhelmingly that video is horrible fuck those motherfuckers which instinctively creates a small group that want to defend them just because the thought of so many people being against a thing causes them to want to fight it this is human nature and i'm just putting it out there why am i putting it out there because you're getting to see in real time Stephanie, who is unable to not deal with it in a public way in any way, shape or form, probably at the behest of an older person, um, has tried to get ahead of this thing and instead is digging themselves in more and more and more and more. Then the AJC covered this shit. They didn't cover it from the wrestling angle which wrestling people probably should be relieved about. But it was more about how they're both being expelled from their school in Carrollton. Here's the issue that it brought up for me. Why the fuck is the AJC covering this? Well, Steve, are you saying this isn't a big enough issue for the... I'm saying it is an indication of how fucking sad the media has become that something that twi trends on Twitter instantly becomes newsworthy for legitimate media sources. There's something that's really disquieting about that. What is the benefit of the AJC covering this story? To highlight the fact that racism still exists? Maybe, but I'm pretty sure people are aware of that. Is it for the cathartic effect of we're going to present this thing that most people, most older people certainly wouldn't have known about. And then we're going to say what the punishment was. Maybe. Um, or is it just because they need content so badly and now they have to go to Twitter, that toxic shit place to get news stories. That aren't. Noteworthy beyond a small group and now we're going to fucking make it a big group and by small group i mean the people who are in immediate contact with it ajc covering it just seems so fucking ridiculous but it happened because when the ajc covers it i understand wrestling people picking it up and it, it, it's been all over wrestling everything and wwa4 getting in, on in front of it as fast as they could was the smart move But at the end of the day, folks, let's be real. And I've heard so many people lament. Why do people see the South in a certain way? And la, 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 la. This shit does not help. Um, I'm not saying that the story should have never gotten out to wrestling. out. It did. And it's worth talking about. Fuck, I'm talking about. It. But Jesus. It's fucking awful. And no amount of grandstanding. And no amount of narrowing the complexity of what it says helps. So I was actually glad to see when Matt Hankins, I believe, put out there that all of you who are piling on these dumb fucks who a week ago were praising Mike Jackson for being on impact. I see you. And this sparked the debate. Some people were genuinely like, why? What about Mike Jackson? And then some people were like, oh, yeah, some of the shit Mike Jackson's done. And then some people try to mitigate and defend Mike Jackson, but which just caused more and more stories to come out, more and more people telling their tale. Fascinating. Really fascinating. We are caught at a time. 
And really, that's the outrage over the video. That, that's what's causing a lot of the outrage about the initial video is the fact that it was somebody who was 18 and somebody who was, quote unquote, trained by a black guy and surrounded by black wrestlers and seemingly got along with everybody. That's the part that's fucking people up. And it should. Mike Jackson, and I saw a number of people say this, was getting an indirect or direct pass from people because they're like, well, he's a seven year old white guy in the South. So that is what it is. Interesting that that's a defense still, but so it is. Which shows the complex racial divide that still exists. And now people will say, well, it's because people like you pointed out that's why a racial divide exists. No, 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 no. The racial divide is there. And talking about it, acknowledging it, and deconstructing it is a much better way to go than to this thing just blowing over in a couple of days. But Steve, it's not going to blow over. Remember when a whole bunch of fucking asshole senators, both Republican and Democrat, but we know where they tended to lie, bailed out of the stock market and or put their money into things that they knew would make money soon. And it was all the outrage. I even dedicated one of the comfortably platinum freaking thumbnails to it. And now it doesn't matter anymore. All the outrage was very similar. They should be strung up. You know how many of my friends said, oh, we should get $1,200 tax return, you know, money that you're going to get? That's how much it costs for a guillotine. Everybody should buy a guillotine. We should get these fuckers. Just like all the outrage over this. Somebody call New Jack and have New Jack beat up Jay Hunter. So, you know, a number of wrestlers. I'm going to get a hold of this motherfucker. Put him in the ring with me. The usual clap trap. And kudos to the people who called out that bullshit, like William Huckabee. Kudos to the people who called it out, like Velvet Jones. Because it's always a predictable part of the landscape. And I get it. It's wrestling. People are going to put themselves over. And I also get that it isn't always self-interested. I'm going to go complex on this one again. Because that's what I do. I think it's also a reflection of feeling helpless. We've seen a number of, just to put it out there, promoters in the Georgia area, because they're feeling helpless, say stupid things and act out in stupid ways. Character is revealed by things like this. And subsequently, when you see that racist video, and I can't pretend I have the same feelings about it if I, than if I was black, I don't. And I acknowledge that. We can all agree it's bullshit, and we can all agree it's fucking horrible, but it doesn't strike me the same way as it does somebody else. So yeah, I get wanting to say, I'm going to fucking kick this guy's ass or let's arrange to get him fucked up or blah, 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 blah. But in putting that out there publicly does invite the scrutiny of others who rightfully say, you ain't going to do shit. So what the fuck are we talking about? And people say there aren't faces or heels in wrestling anymore. Jay Hunter certainly is one, so Stephanie. But that doesn't mean that there isn't pity to be had for them as well. And for those of you who claim to be Christian, who find yourself incapable of even beginning the process of forgiveness, that's interesting to me. Because even I, who would acknowledge that both of them are fucking getting pillarized and deservedly so and having their lives pretty fucked. I won't say ruined because at the end of the day, that's just going to play out in time and people do have short memories and you can always move and a million other fucking things. But the panic that they're feeling, the terror that they're feeling is one that they should have predictably been able to predict as young people in the modern age. But they're also dumb as a fucking bag of hammers. And likely surrounded by people who are also dumb as a bag of hammers, or at least ignorant, and have supported 
fostered and cultivated the ignorance in those two. And they are the very definition of the word pathetic and pitiful, as in they inspire pity from me. Dumb motherfuckers. So yeah, it's easy for me to say because I don't get the bile in my stomach quite in the same way that others do about them. So I understand other people's reaction of, I'm going to fuck them up, or we should do this, or we should do that. But at the end of the day, you're not going to do shit. And realistically, you shouldn't do shit. And even more to the point, it's just an empty gesture from people who are feeling powerless. And that video... The underlying thing about it is it makes people feel powerless because it makes them realize like, fuck, this is a dude that I fucking hung with who we shared an experience together in pro wrestling and he appeared to be fine. It makes you doubt the world around you that you thought was so solid and doubt your own judgment if we're being honest. I haven't seen that kind of introspection, but that's the next stage is people are going to start going like, how did I not fucking realize? Maybe I'm not as fucking close to these motherfuckers as I think I am. That's why I brought up the stuff about how the WWA four school is at the top. They're not a band of brothers. That's not the kind of school it is. Clearly. Not saying that if they were, they would have necessarily caught this earlier. But there's certainly a better chance than they would have than what actually happened, which was nobody seemed to have any kind of clue and everyone was completely fucking blindsided. And now you have Steph going, yeah, my boyfriend's the racist one. And people in the wrestling business going, no, it's her. And she's an easy one to hate because she's the one who's who's fucking grasping for the fucking life preserver right now publicly. And so do I mitigate some of the things she's saying about that? Yes. Because she's clearly saying whatever she feels like she needs to say to just get the fucking nightmare to end, to wake up from the nightmare. And the thing is, what they should be telling her, these people that are advising her, is there's no waking up from this nightmare. There's no forcing yourself awake. It's just got to play out. That's the truth. This whole thing has just got to play out how it plays out. And the other issues that it brings up... The fact that the real media is covering this bullshit story. The fact that people seem to selectively pick what they're outraged about. Or they pick on the softest, easiest target. Because let's face it. Going after Steph and Jay Hunter is easy in the sense that it is punching down. They are dumb young fucks that we can all agree put out a video that was abhorrent. And so all these various reactions that people are now reacting to are not only predictable, they're also mostly ineffectual. So kudos to the people who are pointing out on a meta level. I really do appreciate it. And finally, what is the proper reaction? Who am I to tell you ultimately, but I can give a couple of guides, is to look at this thing in a bigger context. Why does it happen? What are people that you know, what is their reaction to it? And how does that make you feel or think about? How can you adjust yourself? Because that's the person you have the most power over. And maybe instead of just spending your time gathering the mob and going, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find a way to address it. And my favorite way that it's been addressed is Ashton Starr. So we're going to close with that. Thank you for joining me for every cloud has a platinum lining. I'm going to show you how to ruin your wrestling career. First, you need homophobia. Ooh. That's nice. Then we're going to add a little pedophilia. Oh.
Then a nice heaping glass of making good choices. Oh, oh, looks like we're out. In last but not least, <gasps> racism. Oh, oh.